Good morning, excellent students. Today I am going to explain revision class from fifth chapter. So tomorrow is the exam. So today this class you are revision class. Okay. Then R is equal to 
I is equal to P T R by 100 is equal to 8400 into 1 into 5 by 100. Zero zeros are cancelled. It is 420 rupees. Then after 2 years, total amount is equal to A is equal to P plus I. It means 8400 plus 420. So total 8820 rupees. Then what about the compound interest? First year 400 plus second year 420. So total compound interest is 420 rupees. It has to pay 820 rupees as an interest on 8000 rupees after 2 years. Ashok borrows 10,000 rupees at 10 percent per annum for 3 years at a simple interest. So Ashok is a person, he, is, he borrows 10,000 rupees at a 10 percent interest per annum as a simple interest. Then after, Ravi also, he is also taking the same amount and the same rate of interest. But it is nothing but compound interest and the amount is compounded annually. Now we have to find the, see here, compound interest and interest compounded annually. Who pays more amount and by how much? See, first I am taking Ashok amount. What is the principal amount of Ashok? P is equal to 10,000 rupees and what about the rate of interest? 10%. And what about the time duration? 3 years. A is equal to P bracket 100 plus R by 100 whole power. Sorry. P A in a simple interest, what is the formula to find total amount? A is equal to P bracket 100 plus R T by 100. What about the P? P is nothing but 10,000 rupees and 100. Plus R means 3 years time and what is the rate of interest 10 by 100. Two zeros are cancelled. Is equal to 100 into 100 plus 30, 130. It is nothing but 13,000 rupees. So Ashok has to pay 13,000 rupees after 3 years. After 3 years. Now I am going to take the amount of Ravi. What is the principal amount of Ravi? Same 10,000 rupees. And the rate of interest is also same 10%. What about the time duration? 3 years. But Ravi took as a compound interest. So A is equal P bracket 100 plus R by 100 whole power N. And what about the A is equal 10,000 bracket 100 plus 10 by 100 all power 3. It means 10,000 into 110 by 100 into 110 by 100 into 110 by 100. Zeros are cancelled. Then after 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So what does it mean? 10 are 110 into 121. 11 are 11. 11 2s are 22 plus 1, 22. 11 ones are 11 plus 2, 13. So Ravi has to pay 13,310 rupees after 3 years. Now difference in amount. Is equal to 13,310 minus 13,000. It means 310. Ravi has to pay 310 rupees more than the Ashok.